Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, I am going to run the DBT models and the dependent tests with Persis Docs that we have created in our previous video. So in the previous video, I have created two model files, two YAML files as well that you guys have seen. And I do recommend watching all of these DBT videos in sequence and as well as doing hands on with it. Now I'm going to run these models and I'm going to show you how you can run a model separately, a test separately and both model and test separately and how persist doc functionality works in dbt. So let's move ahead and before moving ahead, I do recommend all of you guys to connect with me on LinkedIn and as well as do subscribe to my channel. So let's move ahead. Now, when I talk about the models that I have created, you can already see on the left hand side that these are the models that have been created. So let me clear all my commands that I have run as part of my previous videos. So now if you see, I have this dbt project.yaml file and in this, uh, you know, in the in one of our previous video, I have already created, you know, I have already told you how you can materialize the output staging as a table instead of a view like right? using this particular command so here i will also add one more command which is plus i will use this symbol plus and i will say persist and you will also see that it is giving you auto suggestion that is persist doc docs right and then i'm going to say relation and this is also auto suggested relation which is true and then i'm going to say columns and then that is true so if you see these settings first of all just see these settings and i will actually show you what does this do actually okay now once this is done what i will uh, do right now is i will use the command dbt run now what does this dbt run will do this dbt run so whatever models we have so if you see we have uh, stage e-commerce uh, orders orders model we have then we have order item model then we have our products model right and if i go to the big query uh, the model that we have actually run till now is the stage e-commerce orders model only so let me just refresh and show it to you again so this is the only model that we have run so now if i say dbt run what it will do is it will run all the models that are present in your project right so let me hit enter over here and you will actually see that all these models starts executing now remember that since these models are not dependent on each other you will see that these are, are, are you know running in parallel but if they are dependent on each other then in that case you will see that dbt will automatically identify it and it will run one after the other based on the dependency so now you can see that it says finished running five table models right and it has completed successfully so now if i go back right and again if i try to refresh the contents right now you will see that what has happened your e-commerce orders was already present right what has happened now your order item has also been created right now if you see your products now even your products has also been created now ignore this my first dbt model my second dbt model because when you have created this project itself right you would have created it along with me so these two were the default models that comes with the dbt init command with which you have created the project so these are default models that have come so when you have run this dbt run command even these models got run right so don't uh, worry about these two models at the moment okay now if i go back let's say i go to e-commerce products and if i go to schema you will see this description how much product costs the business to purchase and all these details now where is this detail coming from right how is this detail coming from now if i go back to the products.yaml file you will see the pro the table of of products on the online store that is the model level description and then you have the description for each and every column right so all this description for each and every column has actually come up over here this is what your uh, persist doc has done so it is very helpful in keeping your metadata and you know when you're creating these tables the description is also very well added over here so that was your dbt run command now if you want to run the tests right how can you run those tests you can simply say dbt test right and simply run it so what will it do it will sequentially um, you know run all the tests if tests are dependent on each other it is going to uh, run it 
you know in a sequence if not it is going to run them in parallel so you can see that it has run the test and it is showing me that okay this has failed this has passed the failed one is my first dbt model which we don't have to uh, you know uh, worry about right now because these are the default models and we did not work on them right and then to unexpected order status so it has got two unexpected order status you can see that okay test 2 has failed so this is a very good way of running the test as well right so if you want to see where exactly it has failed right so if i go to you can actually see that it gives you uh, the actual test that has failed in this red highlight so if you go to this right if i click on this so you can actually see it tells you the exact uh, you know uh, where exactly your test has failed so that level of information also it gives you at this point now uh, this is the ml file and this is the ml file where exactly your test which test got failed your stage e-commerce orders got failed and then it also shows you compiled code now this is the compiled code let me open that now in this compiled code what will happen is this is going to show you the test which has failed right this is actually going to show you the test so the test is nothing but it is a sql query that runs in your big query so if you see select star from all values where value field not in this so if there is any value which is in this and it gives you the record then it is going to fail the test that is what i have explained you earlier as well right so from this particular table right now from this particular table with all values as right from here if there is any value which is present which is not in cancelled ship completed or returned right in that case the test is going to fail if it gives you an output from here right so this is exactly about the test but yeah uh, now we will actually proceed and i will show you how you can run uh, let me clear this output first so that uh, you guys can see the screen clearly. Now you can actually see what we have done. We have uh, run the dbt run command. We have run the dbt test command. Now I can say dbt run and dbt test. So what is it, it? This command is going to do. This command is going to run your dbt models first and then it is going to do the testing. So now click on, uh, I'll just hit enter. So what it is going to do, it has, it will first start running all your models again because they have already executed. So it will execute again. And then it is also going to run tests on top of it, right? So this is also a very useful command. And uh, now you can see what it has done. It has, you know, uh, run the model and now it has started doing the testing. So now you can see, uh, it has failed two tests, right? So this is the one command usage that I wanted to tell you. Now again, let me clear the clear this and show you another command which is nothing but dbt build. Now in this dbt build also, it will pretty much do the same thing. It is going to run, it is going to run your models and then it is going to do the dbt tests. But now uh, what is going to happen here is if there is any test that fails, then any test which is dependent on that particular test or any model which is dependent on that particular test is not going to run so let me hit enter so even this dbt build it is going to run your model and then the test model and then the test so that way it is going to run your model and the test but it will run it in a way that if one test fails then the other tests which are dependent on it right those are going to skip so if you see over here what has happened so in the previous commands you would not have seen the skip part right so what has happened over here right it has skipped the other models which were dependent on the other tests which were dependent on the first test so that is what exactly you know your dbt uh, build command does so even if i go to the docs over here right about dbt build command so it tells you right that tests up on upstream resources will block downstream resources from running right a test failure will cause those downstream resources to skip entirely if model b depends on model a and a unique test on model a fails then b will model b will be skipped so that is what it is about 
right of course there are other set of set settings as well but that is what your dbt build command is about so from here we have already discussed this init command right this init command helps you to create a new project right so we have created use this init command to create the project we have used this dbt depths command which will pull the most recent version of your depend uh, libraries from package.yaml file this also we have done earlier then we have also used the build command i'm also going to show you the clean command later on so dbt run command also we have seen so all these commands we are actually going to run one by one so you can again see dbt test right this is what we have run now if you want to run a specific test then you can say like this dbt test hyphen hyphen select or uh, hyphen s and then the model name right so you can do it like this as well selective test also you can run so i hope you like this particular video and do remember to subscribe to my channel and support my channel and do share my channel as well because it really has some good content which i feel will definitely enhance your skills so thank you so much for being till here